Okay, now to complete the top, what we're going to do is we're going to take our clipper comb and we're going to take our large scissor and we're going to blend the bangs into the back. So, as we learned in the basic techniques video for scissor over comb, we're going to use the front portion of that scissor and we're going to blend that hair from the front to the back. And we're going to hit it in two different directions. We're going to come in this direction and then we're going to come from the front forward. Go. Now we're going to switch to our one blade, which is the next size down from the 1A, and we're going to do the same thing. What you want to remember is between each blade you want a little bit of separation, a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. If you work down through all your blades but you keep going up at just as high, you're still going to wind up with a line. So now we're going to drop down our next blade size, we're doing that same fading motion, You want to make sure that you're leaving that quarter of an inch to half an inch between blades so you have that separation. And that separation is what causes uh, the tapering or fading effect. Yeah. So at the very end, when you get about a quarter of an inch or half an inch away, very slowly pull the teeth of that blade away. And this is how slow I do it in real life. As we talked about before and we'll talk about throughout the series of haircut lessons, the slower you work, and easier you work, the faster and more accurate your work will the be. The final step, we're going to use uh, a beard trimmer. This is, uh, they call this a super shaver, and what this does is this gets it just as close as a straight razor. So what we're going to do is we're going to shave um, with the grain, and then we're going to shave very slowly against the grain. So as I said, with the grain, and then very slowly against the grain, and we have to start very low, about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch below where we left off with the with the five zero blade. We're going to use our backhand stroke. Now we're going to switch to the free hand stroke. And we're going to work our way around the ear. Same as the other side. Stretch with your thumb and your forefinger. Very light, pre no pressure at all, excuse me. Just glide over the skin. You're holding all the weight of the razor in your hand. Okay, and now as you can see, when we stretch that skin, it pulls that hair right out. And you can, you can actually almost count them. There's about five or six hairs there. Okay, and then in, in front of the left ear, we're going to switch to our backhand stroke.